I'm Gabe Lenners with your Red Carpet Report, and tonight I'm at Universal's Legacy of Horror Film series at the Samuel Goldwyn Theater. Ready? All right, you're a history buff. What were some of the earliest horror films shot on the Universal Studios lot? So if you want to go back to what I consider the very first one, 1923 Hunchback of Notre Dame with Lon Chaney. Lon Chaney Sr. And they built a replica of the Notre Dame Cathedral on Universal's back lot. And it was there for a number of years after the production wrapped. But if you want to consider, you know, one film that was the origins of horror at Universal, I think you'd have to go with The Hunchback. Were any of those sound stages built specifically for horror films? Stage 28, which is on the Universal lot, was built for the 1925 version of Phantom of the Opera. And the original Paris Opera House that was constructed for that film actually still exists in Stage 28. And it's still leased out to productions to this day, and people use it all the time. So that's Stage 28. I consider that to be the yeah. most historic stage on the Universal lot. Of course, I have to ask you now, what's your favorite horror film? So if I had to pick one, I guess I would have to go with Frankenstein. Just because, you know, he's so lovable. He, all he wants is to be loved. And I think that that is just a universal emotion that so many people feel. And that, you know, Frankenstein really expresses that in such a unique way that um, I think that's why it's my favorite. You love Frankenstein, but if you're sitting around, it's getting close to Halloween with a group of friends, what horror movie do you watch for everyone to enjoy? For everyone to enjoy? Um, hmm, that's such a good question. There's so many of them. I know, and I feel like so many of these that were produced by Universal are sort of like my children, you know, and it's my responsibility to curate everything that went into making those movies. But I guess if I had to pick one, I think I may go with something that was a little bit funny, had a little bit of comedy in it to appeal to people, so I may have to go with Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, you work with all of these historical sets on a day-to-day -day basis, it seems like. What's your favorite artifact from a movie or favorite set? So I think probably my favorite artifact from Universal, we have the original life mask, which was used to create the Wolfman prosthetic for Lon Chaney Jr. in the 1941 Wolfman. Very cool. So I think that's got to be one of my favorites. And we have that in the Archives and Collections Department. And what are you most excited for tonight? Obviously, a lot of people out here just having an amazing time. Yeah, I think tonight it's just a culmination of the 100th anniversary of Universal Pictures. And what we're doing is really celebrating these horror films, which are such an important part of Universal's legacy. And it's just a thrill to be able to share these films with a new generation of audiences. You know, a lot of people may not have seen these before. And I think that's what I'm most excited about. It's just the 100th anniversary of Universal and sharing these great horror films. Well, thank you for taking a couple minutes to talk to us. It was so nice to meet you. Have a great night.